Hi there guys, it's Nada here, hope everyone is good. Today I'm really excited to film this video because a brand that I've always wanted to try has reached out to me and sent me some product and I'm so 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 thankful and excited to try them out today for all of you guys. So that brand is VT Cosmetics and if you don't know me, um, hi. I'm Nana. I am a really, really big BTS fan and VT Cosmetics actually have a line of makeup products with BTS and I have a few of them here. Now I do not know what they have sent me, um, I'm assuming probably not any complexion products because this is a K-beauty brand and I don't really have K-beauty complexion if you know what I mean um, but hopefully there's some other exciting things here in this box to show you I've not even opened this box yet so we're gonna do an unboxing and we're gonna try out some of the products let's see what's inside this bag so we've got a few products in here okay so first thing I have is this super tempting eye palette can't wait to see what it looks like on the inside next I have a face fixer so I'm assuming this is a setting spray exciting also I have a mascara um, this is called the Triple Power Mascara. And I also have these three lip rouges. Okay, so I just briefly went off screen and did my base makeup. So I just put on um, my foundation and some concealer and a little bit of powder. And now we're gonna try out some of this makeup. So first of all, I'm gonna get started with the eyeshadow palette. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my God, opening packaging is like, the most annoying thing ever. So this is what it looks like. It is purple, or if you are a BTS fan, Bora here, um, I purple you. Um, yeah, so it's BTS purple. And let's see what the colors inside look like. So these are the colors on the inside, very neutral, but of course it is K-Beauty, so I was expecting really neutral tones. If there's something I love about K-Beauty, it is the shimmers in the eyeshadows. So the two colors in the middle probably aren't gonna do much for my skin tone, uh, but there are these really nice shimmers here. There's a darker brown there, which I'll probably put in my crease, and there's a really lighter color in the corner that I could probably put on my inner corners, but this is the eyeshadow palette, and it comes with a mirror as well, so you know let's try it out i'm going to zoom you in a little bit let's zoom in a tad i'm just going to start off by putting the darker color in my outer corners this is obviously going to be a really natural look So I've just finished putting this darker colour in my outer crease, I've just finished blending it out. I'm now going to put the sparkly colour on the end of the palette. Um, I'm now going to put that on my eyelids to give it more of a pop. You guys know I'm not a makeup artist, I just like playing with makeup. Um, so <laughs> please don't judge. But anyways, that's such a nice colour. It's good now just going to blend a little bit more of the darker color just to kind of make a more seamless line or a seamless blend between the two colors <laughs> me acting like i know about makeup so i'm quite happy with the look at the minute i'm now going to do the same thing on my other eye then i'm going to blend it into my under eye and then we're going to try out the mascara okay so i've just finished with my eyeshadow as you can see i put the darker brown and the um shimmery kind of bronzy color on my lids and then I've just done some eyeliner as well because that is like what I would usually do any other day um, but my eyes still look a bit bare because I don't have any mascara on yet and it is now time for me to try the triple power mascara now I've tried a lot of K-Beauty over the years but I've actually never tried um, a Korean mascara um, so I'm very excited to give it a try um, I have really 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 short eyelashes so this could make it look like I have eyelashes then I am very happy about it here we go with the mascara first of all it's got a really really like skinny um brush which I think probably be quite good at like coating the lashes oh yeah it's actually really good does it look like I have lashes not my favorite mascara in the world but it really isn't bad like it's not doing a bad job at all so I just finished applying the mascara, I've just moved in a little bit closer so that you can see it a bit better. Um, I have, as I mentioned, really, really, really sparse eyelashes and I think this has done a pretty decent job at making them look kind of long and kind of full. So I have 
no complaints about the mascara at all. Uh, the brush was really skinny, which I actually really liked because I don't really have, as I said, I don't have a lot of eyelashes. So I think it actually coated them quite well. So eyeshadow is done, uh, very natural, very girly. I'm very happy with the look and how it came out. Um, I'm gonna finish doing my base makeup, aka my blush, a bit of highlight and contour, and then also we're gonna try out the lip rouges and then the setting spray as well to finish it off. So I'm back now from completing my base makeup. So I've just put on a little bit of contour, highlight and blush, and obviously my eyes are done. The only thing left is to set this look and also put on some lipstick. So let's take a look at the lipsticks I was sent from the Super Tempting collection. I've not seen any of the lipsticks yet, but of course I have been to Korea before, I've been there twice and I have looked in pretty much every single makeup store there is in Seoul. And um, I know that the lipsticks are usually kind of a, a very neutral tone. They're usually like um, oranges, reds, and darker shades of red. <laughs> However, um, I have found as someone with darker skin, if a lipstick is ever a little bit too light, just put a dark lip liner on and then you can definitely make the lipstick work. So this is what it looks like. I can't read the name of it because it is in Korean, but it is number five. I'm going to do a little swatch of it on my hand and yeah, it's a bit of a nudie red, but it's actually quite a nice colour. I actually think I could make it work. So this one is number six. We're going to do a little swatch to see what it looks like. It is another kind of similar shade of red. However, this one's like a really bright red. I don't know if the colours are coming out right on screen, they're looking a bit funny. Um, so I might show you in a different lighting, but this is like a bit of a brighter red, and this is a bit of a more muted, more nudie kind of red. This one seems to be more of a pink, and this one is number seven, and we're gonna give this a little swatchy watchy. Oh, this is actually like a, oh, this is really nice. This is like a true cherry red, this one. So this is number five, that's number six, and that's number seven. So as this look is really natural, very everyday, very kind of not too crazy, um, I'm gonna go with the darker one, the number seven, um, just to make this look pop a little bit more. So let's put it on. So this is definitely more of a lip tint than a lipstick as I can see a little bit of my lips through. It's not as opaque as lipsticks are, but I kind of like that. It gives a more of a natural look. And I didn't even need to put any lip liner over the top of this. And I think this color actually really suits me. I do not wear red lipstick very often. So I'm very, um, I'm feeling kind of, feeling a little bit hot, feeling cute. I'm really loving this look. It smells so, 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 so good. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. So I'm a little bit obsessed with this look because this is a very nice, very natural, everyday look. This is my first time ever trying VT Cosmetics. I've been wanting to try them for so long, especially the BTS collab. And I am very, very happy with the look. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can see a bit more um, up close and more detailed, but what do you think? So I'm just gonna bring the camera in a little bit more so that you can see um, the makeup a little bit closer. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I don't usually make that many makeup videos, but if you did enjoy this, please do let me know and I can make some more. Of course, I am in no way a makeup artist. Like I just do everyday kind of makeup looks, but I'm assuming most people watching this probably aren't actual makeup artists. So if you want some more realistic kind of um, everyday makeup looks, you can um, let me know and I'll happily do that for you. I would like to say a massive thank you to VT Cosmetics for sending me these amazing goodies. I'm so, 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 so thankful because I don't usually get sent things very often and being sent things, I'm just like, thank you. But yes, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a nice big thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of me, please do give my channel a subscribe. I make a lot of vlogs and quite a few videos to do with BTS. And if you are a BTS fan, definitely check out the rest of my videos. Now, please do not forget to follow me on socials. All of my links are always down below, but you'll find me on pretty much anything as at Naina Trainer. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.